Good evening and welcome to Stereo Desk. You're looking at one of my beloved Sven Benecke W8 SE Plus speakers. It's a diminutive floor stander. Um, I think it's just under a yard tall. Uh, but what a sound it puts out. We're going to be focusing on the swing bass today, uh, and that's something that's implemented in in uh, several of Sven's speakers. So we're just going to get a closer look at how it works. Um, this is these are the stanchions on either side. They're connected by this piece of metal in between. Uh, and as we get close, you can see the cable. Cable that rests, uh, it has a little recessed area that rests into a nut, and what that allows is for mo motion, so that the speaker is itself suspended. And as the drivers go through their excursions, um, they're not fighting the cabinet. It's, it's free to move within the cabinet the way it was intended without the short, brief, and fast stops that often are a cause of distortion and time smear. So uh, we're just going to take it apart so you can get a little bit better look. Just going to tilt it slightly. You see, this slides in and out of the speaker as such. And then you just get these onto the cables, which is very easy to do, and you're good to go. And you have uh, a stand and a tweak that gives you instant audible results. Now, the way he keeps that idea consistent on the front of the speaker, you'll see that there is beneath the speaker this brass um, little cup here and in it goes a brass or tungsten ball which <clears throat> fits into another which is carved into the bottom here of the speaker there's another brass coupling so it sits on that ball Oops, heard it fall out there. And did it again. Well, of course, the first time I did it, it went straight away. Let's try it now. There we go. So now we're in. And you can see how it all moves freely. Uh, so we invite you to, to try this wonderful technology. These swing bases for speakers and swing racks for components uh, show audible results right away. Uh, we also have some wonderful uh, swing bases um, for components and for mono blocks. A lot of people like to put existing speakers atop them. It's just another great tweak. What I think. Uh, Joachim Gerhardt uh, said was the best tweak he'd heard in decades. So have a good night and thanks for stopping in.